Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm going to do a little tutorial about weathering slot card tracks. Now we've got these SCX tracks here um, and I've just done some uh, tire wear marks in it just to give it a more authentic look um, and make it all more interesting as you're, you're driving your slot cars around. Now these are the same basic technique you can use on models as well. So it starts with the panel wash. I'm using the Tamiya oil based one here and then I'm going to do uh, that does the shadows and then this uh, dry weathering powder here from Tamiya this is to pick up all the top bits so it's a bit like the dry brushing bit so let's do a bit here I've done a couple of test spots here earlier I've done those because this takes a little while to dry but I'll just apply some so you can see what it looks like now washes are very thin paints with a little bit of pigment in them allows them to flow and goes through all the crevices. So you can see as I just put on the drop how it's already spread and if I do a bigger drop it probably be more noticeable. Like that, see how it just dries by itself into all the crevices. Now if you just paint it like so you can do it in, in various sorts of lines. So I've just painted like this at the top part just to get the, the stripes for the, the tire wear marks. Now with here, that's some I've done earlier and it's dried already. And what we can do is we can just pick up all the, the high areas for some detail with these weathering powders. Now the weathering powders are a dry pigment which has been um, mixed in with a waxy binder. So unlike bare pigments, which are just powders and just sit on top and can blow away, th these ones will actually grab onto the surface. So I just put some on applicating sponge here, like so, and then and just gently brush it across the top. So very little um, power there and you can see how it's just picked up all those fine top details. And it gives it a much more three-dimensional appearance because you've got your, your very dark shadow which is black and then you have your very bright highlight, which is the light beige. And it's as simple as that. So I'll show you again on this one here. So you just rub it across the top, like so. And you see how it's all picking up. As simple as that. Now with the applicator, so apart from the sponge applicator, which is the harder applicator, there's also a brush. So the brush is quite soft and you use that for blending if you like. So that'll soften the effect as you can see there. And then you can readjust it. Like so. And that's the easiest way of uh, weathering sidecar track. Now if you're happy with that and you want to hold it in for a bit longer, you can put some um, uh, clear on it. Problem with the clear is you'll need to mask off the uh, contact um, uh, on the track, otherwise obviously you won't get any power going through to the car. Um, or you can just leave it as is and it will naturally wear from here too and it will just end up being more natural as the rubber tires go across it. So there you go, here's my easy weathering of my track. Yeah,